Hey, today I want to take a look at the uh, Technics. Um, it's the uh, SL1300. This is, uh, as you can see, a direct drive turntable, which just means that it, run the, the, uh, it runs right off, the platter runs right off the motor. There's no belt involved. Um, this one is a national Technics. Um, I'm not sure what, what the deal is. With. You, you, don't, you don't see these a lot. You see um, Panasonic Technics, um, same model. Um, so I really, I really don't know if they license it out for another company to make, make some or how, how that all works. Um, but, uh, you know, other than that, just, just that little logo, I don't, I can't see anything different on this unit from theirs. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, as you can see, this one's, this one's got a few bugs, uh, the strobe. Um, I just shot a video. I didn't really like it. So I, I, I'm not putting it up, but, uh, the strobe came on and then it went off. I don't know. It comes on and goes off when it wants to. Um, it's kind of a there. I just I just shut it off so it'll it'll pull up the arm and take it back. Um, this is supposed to be like a uh, uh, an automatic version of an SL twelve hundred. Um, the SL twelve hundred. Um, I've, I've heard people say that it's a better sounding unit. Um, you know, it's they're, they're highly sought after those go for really big money these these go for you know you, you might pay a fair amount i got you know i'm always looking for deals if i you know i'm a patient buyer you know if i see something i want you know i'll you know i'll just keep looking and and then see you know if i see a deal on one i'll snag it um or or i'll just happen upon something and go wow that looks pretty sweet well, actually that's what happened with this one um i was like man what's that all about i mean i'm, I'm aware of the brand and you know, kind of their uh, prowess in turntables. Um, th this isn't like an audiophile unit. Um, it's just a really, a really solid unit. Um, uh, I've had, I've, I don't know, I've had, I've had a few different turntables. Um, I was previous to this using a, a Sony, and I can't remember the model number. I used that because um, it had it is a drawer system, so you could stack it in a whole stack of equipment. And and still use it, so a drawer pops out and you put a record in. Um, I, it wasn't that great of a sounding turntable though. Um, and uh, and and then two, if you wanted to select tracks, it was a whole thing. So, um, you know, I I, I see what what they're going for, and it serves kind of a purpose. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's. A, I don't know. This this is a much better unit than that, and then also a, uh, a Harman Kardon uh, T thirty five with an Empire cartridge, and I can't remember the um, model number on that. Um, it wasn't a higher end Empire. Um, I had never heard of Empire when I bought it. It came on the turntable, but um, it, it that was the best sounding turntable setup I ever had. I sold it. I really wish I hadn't. Um, it. It was amazing. I mean, people who weren't really into audio equipment or whatever, and you know, they'd be over. I'd you know show them, you know, show them the unit and um, every or or I just have it playing, and they'd be like, "That sounds amazing," you know. And it, and it was mentioned several times, and I said, "Oh, that's yeah." A guy bought this thing. I think I got it for like seventy five bucks, um, and you know, I think the cartridge alone to go purchase one of those was somewhere around that price range. Um, and so it was, you know, it was, it was a heck of a deal on that. And, uh, that was a belt drive. Um, but yeah, just an amazing sounding turntable. Um, you know, but anyway, we'll take a, take a closer look at this one and its unique features and, um, you know, why I like it so much. Um, like I said, it's automatic, so you can, you know, flick the switch, you know, start or stop. You might've noticed when I hit stop before it came over and then went back. That's because I was messing with this thing earlier and I had this, uh, uh, memo repeat um, What happens here is when it reaches the end of the record It'll come back and then this thing will tell it hey go back the number of times that you click it So, you know if I click it over here We'll click it up to all the way to like five. I think R it'll continuously repeat um, But like at five and if I go and I hit stop now You know it'll bring the arm back Come back to home Click and then you see it goes to four and I'll do that one more time with just showing that. So I'll stop it. And this will happen too when it reaches the end of the record. I'm just kind of forcing it early to do its thing. So you can see it. And there it goes to three. 
Um, and then right here is just, just a selection so it knows where to go. Obviously, it's not going to the correct spot. It, it goes to like the beginning of track two for some reason. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, so if you have like, you know, this is a full size, a 12 inch vinyl, um, or you can, you know, select like a 45, like a seven inch. Um, and uh, man, I really wish the strobe was working this time like it was the last time I shot the video. But uh, um, the strobe, uh, you know, and I think most people are familiar with how those work. But yeah, so the, the dots on the platter, um, you know, if you select, uh, you know, 33 RPM, and then the bottom row of dots, the strobe uh, flickers at such a rate that um, uh, the, it sh that dot, when it's when it's right at 33 RPM, should appear to be standing still. So that's how you dial it in. You dial it in, um, you know, this is the selection of the speed, and then this is the fine-tuning of the speed. Um, but yeah, so it's... I don't know. I, I just really... This is a really fun turntable. Um, I'm going to get it serviced to get it 100% because these are just plain worth it. I mean, there's nothing like this today. Um, and if they made, if they were to make a unit like this today, it would be an astronomical price just because nobody makes these type of parts and components and engineers, um, you know, the gears and, uh, cams and everything that, that you have to have to run something automatically without, you know, like a, a control, like, ch like a control chip, you know, you just, it, it's not, this isn't, this isn't controlled, you know, by a PCB. This is all mechanically, um, you know, it's like a mechanical computer. So um, these are definitely worth it. You know, these just, once they're gone, they're gone. So, you know, I I definitely wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't pitch this thing in the trash. Um, they're worth fixing. Um, uh, Technics had an excellent um, arm assembly, and I really, I don't know, to me, this is a really nice one. It's a uh, it's a lot heavier, but I mean, when I say heavy, the overall unit, but um, as far as its pressure, I mean, you, you set that with the, the counterweight on the back there. Um, uh, it, uh, I don't know, it's just real, com it's not super complex, but fairly. Um, the the Harman Kardon had like an Edo, I think, or Ido um, arm, which was like stupid light just by itself. And so the counterweight's smaller. So it's like a kind of like a little more delicate type thing. Um, I don't know, I don't know what the benefits are, you know, of, of the different style, you know, cause everybody had a different one. There wasn't like a standard. It was kind of, you know, it was just amazing to me because, you know, to machine and engineer the, this, this type of mechanism, I mean, today would be, would cost you a fortune, even though the machining process is, is automated and much easier to do. Um, I don't know. They, they just, you know, it's, it's, they, I don't know, I guess they say it can't be done, <laughs> But, uh, you know, you just don't see anything like this. Uh, that's not that's not how they would go about um, accomplishing the same goal. But it's a neat unit. It sounds good. Um, you know, I could play a little bit here. I'm going to back it up a bit um, just, you know, so you can hear it. Oh, uh, also, the cartridge on this is a, um, a Grotto um, F-1 Plus. Um, I've, I was not familiar with them. I believe they were a cartridge company out of New York. Um uh, I, I kind of read up on it after I got it. Um, it's been a while uh, since I since I read that. I can't remember all the ins and outs, but uh, of course they're defunct now, which uh, most cartridge companies are. Um, I, I do believe. Um, but the it's a really good sounding cartridge. So I, I switched it out with a Stanton that I had. Um, has like a little, little I can't remember the model number on that. It has like a little brush that comes off the front. But uh, um, I, I I preferred the sound to, of this one. Um, that Stanton's a fairly expensive cartridge, but uh, I prefer the Empire over it too, and it costs more than the Empire. Um, I've used uh, Sure. I had like a, this white label cartridge. Um, that was a pretty neat unit. Um, I believe the head shell is attached. It's like all integrated on that. And that's that's a newer one. You can go and still buy those. Um, that's more of like a D DJ cartridge. Um, it's uh, and it, and it, so you can select tracks. It had like a real nice, uh, uh, system on Like, so if you're standing over it, you could see exactly where you were dropping it. Um, it, it was a pretty neat, uh, head shell slash cartridge. Uh, but I, I, I didn't really use it. So I, I sold that, but, um, and two, it's not really period correct. And I kind of like to keep, if I can, you know, the different equipment I run period correct. Um, but yeah, so this, this is, uh, probably my second favorite turntable I've ever owned. That Harman Kardon was just hard to beat. Um, 
when you're when you're talking overall sound quality that I I don't know I'm sure you could you could get better but you'd have to spend an awful lot of money to do it <laughs> so let's give this one a listen Yeah, really, I don't want to play it too long. So, I mean, I don't have, obviously, I don't have these monetized because I only have three <laughs> three subscribers, but I just don't want anything getting taken down. But uh, just so you get an idea, you know, a little bit of the sound. It's it's a it's a really good sounding unit, and uh, it's just neat to play with. I mean, if you're, you know, I like I like to have fun. Um, so that's why I like, uh, you know, I like uh, like the that M70 amp. I mean, it has an, an awesome display for its um, level meters. Um, it's really cool. It's like red LEDs. Um, that, that go up and down. Actually, I think, I think originally they weren't LED. I think it was just lights that lit up, but, uh, it's really, really neat looking. Um, you know, like in that, in that, uh, audio control C101 has that sweet looking spectrum analyzer. I mean, even by today's standards, really cool looking unit. Um, um, I don't run that. It needs to be recapped. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to get that serviced and then, then I'll do a full review on that. Um, so, so as you're seeing, I have a lot of stuff, some of it in varying levels of uh, uh, functionality at the moment. Um, and that's just kind of the price you pay when you when you kind of do this older equipment is, uh, you know, you, you're going to need to get it serviced. Um, you, you know, it's it th things will go wrong. Um, caps, uh, electrolytic caps will go bad. Um, you just need to get those things replaced. But I just find that the overall build quality is much, much better. Like the, some of these units are like this, this, uh, turntable is probably 40 years old, uh, at least I, I want to say 76 was when this was released. So, and I don't know how many years they produced it after that, but, uh, you know, it's still, it still functions and, but it just needs to be, you know, just mean needs to be fine tuned and, uh, back to a hundred percent. And, um, you know, that's just the type of things you gotta, you gotta do, um, I haven't had a lot of problem with with most of my equipment. Like the MX2, I've never done anything to that. Uh, the C70 was like brand new condition when I got it. I don't know if it, I think it was seldom used. It came with the M70, um, and that thing worked 100% until I started shooting these videos, and then the light went out here. So I got to get that uh, replaced for the power button. Um, it, it like uh, glows a bright orange. Hopefully, I can get a, a direct replacement for that, so it still matches the power button on the C70 because they're kind of neat looking. Um, you know, uh, the, I've had no issues with this, uh, Yamaha RX, uh, V 2092. This is, uh, this unit is 21 years old, was, uh, Yamaha's flagship. And that's what I was using is, uh, I was using this for, uh, the, uh, just now for the phono, even though this is a superior unit, I don't have it hooked up and I didn't want to rewire everything and then unwire it and wire it back. Cause this is my, what I use because it has a remote and it's just easier to use. But when I do a review of the C70, I'll hook this turntable up to that and then go through all the features on this. This thing, this is, as far as uh, phono preamps uh, go, or, or just you know amplifier controllers, um, the if you're using a turntable, this is one of the best units in my opinion you can go and get. I just happened to get lucky and got got the thing, and then I started messing around with it and just realized how amazing it was. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm pretty familiar with Yamaha, but um, when I bought it, I was just starting to get into buying like a separate type system. So, but I'll get more into that in another video. And this, you know, I was just kind of just just showing you what this uh, the techniques uh, SL 1300 is. I'm sure there's more people that know a, a great deal about this particular unit um, in the history of uh, you know the techniques and their. Uh, um, you know, their, their, uh, turntable lineup. Cause they made a ton of different models and, um, you know, high end, uh, low end. I, I, th I think they're all pretty good from what I, from what I've read. Um, this one, I just, I just really like cause of, uh, you know, how it's cool features. And then real quick, I'm going to let it do its, uh, automatic thing again. So you can see that. It clicks down to two. I just, I just thought that was 
I don't know. It's just really, it's to me, it's fascinating the the engineering that went into this thing. Well, that's it for today.